are back. What's up everyone as we continue our journey through The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine. So we're still in the Adeso Quarry and we need to speak to the foreman again. Now looking back I was thinking big feet to fill. It sounds very very familiar. So I'm wondering if this is one that's got multiple quest parts to it because I'm sure I've done like I'm sure it was big feat to fill, like first group, second group, because it was where we killed Spriggan, wasn't it? And that was around the the northwest of the map near that first hand base, but hey, let's talk to Pafnuzio again and uh, see if we're right. So master, the workers who vanished. How goes the search? They vanished? What's that mean? Just that? Along with ample supplies. I had placed an order. More than a dozen wagons reached the building site, yet five were lost along the way. Tools, food, building materials, and first and foremost, the specialists we need. The chief architect included. I wrote to the architect to say the quarry awaits. He should send new plans. But the foreman said the architect was here, at Ardaizo. And this means... He's missing too. Got it. I'll look around, see what I can learn. Master, I know not how to thank you, but I beg you to hurry. We shall simply not finish without those five wagons. <laughs> I was right, okay, cool. Good, so help all the builders who are working on the monuments. We've already done two out of five. Now, optional is to visit the building site. Oh, that's going to be... it is, isn't it? Zoom our map out. Yeah, I thought so. That's the site we saw northwest of Plegman's Bridge. We've seen that. Like, oh, that's... okay, so there's one up there. Is it the site? There's a lot around this area, isn't there? Okay. Well, at least we know it's sort of this north sort of area where most of them are at. Uh, which means we're not going to be doing anything like that right now, are we? So... Hmm... I might do... Oh, we need to read off the, the notice board, don't we? I nearly forgot about that. So what we'll do, we'll head up to this, and then we're going to head eastward. Depending on if the notice board shows me other things over here. Because... I can actually collect the rest of the Grandmaster Griffin gear from this place. Because I think this is a hand space. And hopefully, I'm right. Uh, but if it is a hand space, there's one little problem we'll have, and that is uh, the weight that I'm carrying. Oh, Shut up! Bust my bum, I'm going killing all the monsters! You don't look like a quarry man to me. That stand in the way of our doing business? No. It merely means I doubt you'll find anything of use here. I mainly stock goods for the men at the quarry. Hammers, spikes, hand cream. But if you want a glance, feel free. I shan't stop you. You always this personable? Or do you just get up on the wrong side of the bed this morning? I got up on the right side. I always do. My left leg's been lame ever since my accident. I worked here once, see? Breaking stone. Until a part of a rock face fell away and crushed my foot. Hmm, sorry. Feel foolish now. Not to worry. Such things are commonplace here, part of the job. Every now and then someone breaks something, twists an ankle, or their neck. Okay, nice chap. Right, well, let's see. Show me what you got. Right, so really what we want to do is try and lighten the load a little bit. Ah, oh, thank God for that. I was hoping they'd be paying a decent amount for stuff. And he's got two grand. Ooh, five and a half? That's giving me more than I actually thought. I uh, wonder what this will dismantle into. I'm not going to dismantle that. Dahlia, no. Nope. Oh. Oh. No, no, no. Not worth it. Okay, that's fine, at least we know. 
Much oh. <laughs> Oops. Drained him of all of his coin. Um shit. Right, um I thought that'll sell nicely, so that Dismantle them, I should be able to sell. So that's 2.7, 1.7. Sell that, that should do. Gotta go. Farewell. Nice speaking to you. Oh. <laughs> Don't mind if I do, even though preservation is on my weapon anyway, so. But I need to spend my ability point as well now, since we've got Euphoria, we're just going to uh, up the rest of our alchemy skills. I'm going to save with my Although I am still tempted to sort of progress further into a like mutation me. tree, because it will obviously allow us to use more skills at the same time. Let's make sure we can actually get up here. We just need to find our way onto the other side of this quarry so that I can read off the notice board. Fetch this empty dead. So we've got the right way. Thankfully. Um, no, fuck it. Quick way down. Looks like they've uh, everyone's back on this side. Do you know what? I haven't been in here yet. Drink! Give me a drink! Can you actually go in here? There you go. There's not like there's much depth to it. That's alright. It's not best to see if there's anything in here. That was worth it for that auto. Full of health, so nicely. We might level up again in this episode, which is why I'm sort of, when I'm talking about using the skills, I might hold off for my mutations. So have a quick nosy. So we've got Euphoria, so that requires us to have eight unlocked. We'll go for one, two, three, four. Difficult to get eight. It means we can go for... Each drawing point increases damage. Five ability points, though. I don't think that's really worth it. I could go down this side for like. That's probably what it's going to be mainly for, isn't it? Like you unlock, save two skill points, and that gets you another skill here, even if you don't use it. Piercing cold sounds pretty cool, even though hard is not one of my spells I use immensely. Whether or not, obviously, I can get more into killing spree. I probably, uh, I probably just do that. Increases critical hit chance. Yeah, I'll save it for now. We'll, we'll have a think about it. For now, let's uh, let's read off this notice board. We got astute practitioner of the oldest profession. I might not be the fairest of them all, but I can give you a ploughing so good you'll never want to go back to those tarts at Belle Beauclair. Griselda. Attention cripples. The lives of knights errants are not simple tales of glory. Often they are also tales of brutal maiming. To all such mutilated knights, I can offer solace in the form of affordable, wooden, prosthetic fingers. After a visit to my workshop, anyone will once again be able to order five beers at the tavern. Gruber, known as Woodfinger. Missing. My 14-year-old son, Mattison, hasn't returned home for ten days. I worry he has become a squire to some knight errant and wandered off with him in search of adventure. If you know anything about his fate or whereabouts, please let me know. Amelia Bloss, mother. Birthday party invitation. All those who would like to have a drink with me are invited to join me at the Cockatrice on the 18th day of this month. That day will mark 40 years since I first stepped foot into this world. Mind that, neither food nor drinks are on me. I will accept gifts though. Victor, you know which one. Political philosopher seeks succour. Looking for a suitable location to deliver a speech entitled The Beast as a Metaphor of Monarchy. Rufus Var Rain. And the last one, forest lovers beware. Remember the days when we would pick berries and mushrooms in the Blessier Forest without a care in the world? Those happy times are gone. 
for wolves big as mules and fierce as if gripped by hydrophobia now prowl those woods. Every day there are fewer places where one can feel safe in our beautiful duchy. When will our duchess do something? Okay, that's everything picked up. Now then, will we have a few more locations on our mini map? Uh, head positively whirling. Awesome. So left roach here. No, then, have we got anything more? We do. It's unlocked quite a few bits more of that, hasn't it? Right, tell you what, we're just going to head forth to our custom waypoint and see what the heck this is for. Cut straight across the land, it's not too far. I can see what looks probably another vineyard up ahead of me. Stop about here, sub 100 now to it. Slow now. Then, can't see. Station. I had to come here, didn't I? I had to come here. At least it's Kiki Mars. I was hoping it wasn't spiders. Expected a warrior or something more than that. Just a few Kikimors here. Kikimor breeding ground. Gotta destroy it if they're to disappear for good. I'm dropping a bomb in and not igniting it this time, yeah. Mm -hmm. Knock it out of the box. Great green. Ooh. Fair on Ruinstone, very nice. There's probably quite a few more vineyard infestations left. I'm sure I saw a body around here. Yeah, I did. Poor soul. He never stood a chance. Uh, right, hold on. What I'm going to do is it's forked here. No, it's not. It's the cockatrice. Uh, I can't do it, so. Quite honey. Cockatrice. forward an hour. I also couldn't remember if it refreshed my decoctions and it doesn't, so it's alright. Now that's where we're heading. Actually from here it looks kind of like a monster nest on top, looks like some sort of nesting ground for a wyvern or something. Could be both! I'm still going with it being a hand space mind you, it's just the fact that the quest that I should be tracking, night for hire, wait a minute. There's actually a different ruin I've got my eye on here. Hmm. Actually, right, let's get all this done now. We're at Hangman's Venom, and we will want. Right, we've got Northern Wind and Dancing Star equipped, which is good. Oh, Kidna, really. Let's use Maribor for now. Stick with the two. I might put Water Hag on. Those wolves thanking you. What is it? What is it? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Come on, come here. Oh, oh, there's a knight. Yeah. Knight Aaron. I'll see you in purgatory. Mistake. The whole of us at once. You saved my life. I shall never forget it. 
<laughs> Remember, Witcher. History is wrought by those who can hang heroes. What's that? What's that threat? I can't, I can't really tell. I just saved your life, buddy. I've never came across that before. Just a knight errant in, in distress. Whoa. Faithful friend. What's that? Weapon? Just like ignite that now. Kill him. Mirror. I thank you for saving my life. It sounds like Guillaume. Ah. <laughs> Beauclair saddlebag. So this is where you pick them up. Filbert's orders. Some half-brains have been wandering around near Montcray. They call themselves Knights Errants, but I call them Swill Sloping Miscreants. No idea what they're looking for here, no windmills around for them to charge, but those adult ankle biters dream up mad ideas no normal man would ever contemplate. No matter what they're up to, they're to stop it. The best way to take care of a Knight Errant is to cut off his head. If anyone brings me such a head, he can count on a plump pouch of coins. As you know, Philibert Fourfingers makes no idle promises. I can be harsh, but I can also be generous. Philibert. Now you see, that makes me even more think that that is a hand space. Because he's been sending out orders to kill Knight Saren, and obviously there's a Knight Saren right here. Nice guy. Class Steel. everything here. Oh yeah, a look on the map as a little a knight helmet. So we've rescued him. <laughs> oh. No miss this. Wow. Christ he didn't have a nice way to go, did he? Okay, collapsed on him. Oh that is ugh. Let's get that cutting half body out of the way. Gorgeous. <laughs> oh, it's still. Oh. Sure, miss anything again? No, nothing in here. Always take time to appreciate the sights of Tucson. Like I say, I'll never, I'll never get bored of it. Never. <laughs> If there's anything around these sort of ruins, obviously it's all been completely destroyed just by the world just over time, and then that's obviously the remains of whatever forts there. So I'm guessing this Philibert Fourfingers is in there. I'd be very surprised if he isn't. What the? What? I thought I heard something then. What the fuck was that? Is there a wraith here for? What sort of wraith is that? Rain sh What? Uh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Fuck. I don't know if I should be fighting this. Uh, Spectre. God, it's someone in skeletons. What the? I like that silver. Okay, that was creepy as hell. I don't know if that was. It couldn't have been a contract because it'd have been a boss mob if so. But I was wondering whether or not I needed to fight that then, because that's crazy. That's someone's undead. Spectres. So, banshees, like banshees, I suppose, in a way. Banshees howl and shriek, and if you hear that cry, you'll know you'll join their ranks of the dead that night. Beggar from Dundar. 
Old gossips claim Bay and Shees are the spirits of women stuck between life and death due to traumatic experiences. Their wails and howls are considered ill omens of imminent, inevitable death, though they are said to not attack the living themselves. Most often they appear in the form of pale, tear-streaked women with shriveled faces and wrinkled, corpse-like bodies. And it's... it's only weakness is spectral, so no particular... Like weakness to it there, that's quite impressive. No mention of it summoning the dead though, but yeah, that was summoning skeletons on me. But we've got a couple of, uh, let's read our flutter entry that we've got as well. Christ, yeah, freaky as fuck. We obviously ran into this when we were, had Regis caged up. The deceased's corpse was completely mutilated. All that remained of the nose was a hole clotted with blood. One eye socket had been chewed beyond all recognition. The mandible had been torn off. Seeing this, Sergeant Dovate vomited profusely and the administration of smelling salts was required. The investigation has been discontinued and the dead attributed to a supernatural being. Fragment of a Toussaint Ducal Guard report. Flutters are classified as lesser vampires, though weaker than the rest of their ilk. In every aspect, from the physiomagic to the physiognomic, they should not be underestimated, for they are very, very dangerous. Flutters cannot be mistaken for any other creature, with their wide, toothy jaws, flat, unpleasant faces, and completely hairless, often warty bodies. These vampires mainly fight with their teeth and claws, flailing them blindly and not stopping even when their victim is already dead. Even a solitary Flutter is strong enough to take down a trained soldier. Compared to other vampires, Flutters display meagre intelligence, seen most clearly in the mindless rage, which causes them to try with all their might to attack and tear to shreds any weaker being. Then we have proto Flutters. Never seen a vampire like that in my life. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. proto Flutters are relatives of Flutters which came from the world of higher vampires to our own during the conjunction of the spheres. The members of this species are characterised by their considerable strength and agility as well as their strange glow they emit, a trait most likely tied to their other worldly nature. proto Flutters have never had significant contact with the outside world, having spent their entire time on our planet in the unseen Elder's Cave, whose atmosphere is very similar to that of their home world. No thank you. Would not want to run into one of them. Just refresh that. So what should we go with, perhaps? To combo. It's gonna have to be the the best pair, isn't it? Gonna check this out real quick. White myrtle petals, nothing else in particular. I can't believe we found that spectre here. And I know it's starting to get towards the evening, but that was really like just off the one of the main roads. So, I mean, I guess this isn't travelled that much. For the fact that this uh, this ruin is here, this must be Mount Crane Castle. Save this here. Obviously, if this is a hand space, which is looking more and more likely as I approach, I'll be doing the same as I did with the previous one. Clearing it out apart from their leader, saving it, killing him, and then reloading just so I can come back and farm this at a later date. I can see a guard at the door. He's on horseback. Two of them, I think, two. Hand space, yep. Okay, let's save it here. Now then, this is probably going to level me. Let's get our art at the ready. So what should it be, Dandruff Dick? Nice! Charge! Take him for a ride! Block that, you son of a bitch! Oh, maggot freak! Oh, oh. 
Oh my god, he cannot survive this onslaught. I don't think so, buddy. Looks like that for the outside patrol. Oh, the horses go mental, they're gonna draw attention to me. They came up as Yeah, they came up as attackable. Chill out horses. Right, let's get away from them. Uh oh. Abandoned castle mired in a dark legend. Pathetic. Stop talking. The rest of them partying or something, because they don't seem to have heard me. Or maybe they're fighting. Maybe that's why they haven't noticed me, because my fighting here is blended in with them. So they're on the other side. Right, I think what's best is to clear this place out first. Oh, is there someone me? placed an illusion here? Faster! Faster! <laughs> An illusion, eh? That must be to do with the griffin stuff. It must be around this bit. It's alright, I'll say we'll clear this place out first. So look at the experience we're getting. Not to jump into it. These have got dogs. It's lining up for me now, my god. <laughs> that was beautiful. Okay, hang on. Bit too many here. Two left. Right through the heart. Yes, yeah, so I leveled, which is no surprise considering the amount of people I've just fought here is probably more than the amount of times I was clearing out that hand space. I have a feeling this is going to overburden me because, I mean, there you go. Look at the minimap. That's absolutely insane. My god. I'm going to have to take a fiend. It's not going to help me out hugely, but at least it's something. That's absolutely insane. Look at the amount of bodies here. I think 
Right, just, uh, I'm gonna have to loot all this because these will disappear, but if I drop loot, my drop loot doesn't disappear. So that's the way I can go about it, I think. We're actually not done yet. There's gonna be, obviously, the leader's still around somewhere. But let me loot up all these. I'll do it, actually, I'll just talk while I'm doing it at the same time. But that was, uh, so many heavy maces and swords here. This is uh, five grand, easy. Look, I'm overburdened again. Chains and so let's say they've got even got dogs for them. See, I'm over, that's I'm over ten already. My weight because of all of this is going to be to mostly to do. Oh yeah, the maces. Right, if I just drop because they're all there in a pile now. So if I come back, they should be there exactly as I left them. It's not the end of the world if they're not. How's that? Is that more oh, dogs? I don't want to be falling off there. Ah! That's why more of them came. Because he lit the fire, the signal fire for him. And you can see the guy next to it. I'm going to have to go up and kill him in a minute. Oh, his insolence. Yeah, it's Hans Dogs. Come on. Where the hell are all these coming from? Mars has spawned outside again. Kind of a. It's going to say an infinite respawn for uh, raw meat then, but uh, I think they've stopped. Oh, that's nice. Obviously, this ain't going to help me with my, my overburdening as well. But. I'm quite itching for another fight. Right, so we've done that. Let's save it. So who, who we have uh after four fingers, aren't we? I'll twist your twoot. Where are you going? Where are you around here? Okay, let's try again. Try to beat him to the punch there. Shouldn't really have done that, didn't work. What's he hiding? Nothing. Literally, nothing. Bit salute up. So I've got to find this leader. I'll go and uh, put out that signal fire in a minute and kill the dude that's up there. Ooh, busted chicken. Nom nom nom. Okay, this must be... yeah. This is the way up to the signal fire. Oh, just looted some armor. I'm doubly right, aren't I? You know I said to you it sounded like a wyvern was up top. It does sound like the... Right, okay, I'm just gonna... I'm not my ruin stones. It hurts so much how much they're gonna be all worth. My composture is gone. Yeah, I'm sure it is. <laughs> One hit! Oh, that's the sound. It's not a wyvern, it's the sound of the fire roaring. you got to forgive me, though, for that one, because that actually did sound like a wyvern or some kind of draconid. Right, so how... Right, what's 
this. Okay, so that's one loot. The dogs have come back inside here again. What's that? Florence. I bet it's on. It's got to be underneath us. Yep, it's not been... So I've said I don't want that to happen, I don't want it to disappear from a map. <laughs> Infinite respawning dogs it seems. Right, there's an illusion around here. And it's there. Okay. Bear hides and sheepskins, these are going to be what's wearing me down more so than the swords at this rate. Saddles. Small dogs outside the gate. Someone placed an illusion here. They did. Well then, our wanted man, Fourfingers. He's got some tricks up his sleeve. He's got a mage with him. Cause surely a, a measly bandit can't cast an illusion like this. Formula greater mutagen red to blue. Whoa. Is there a portal in here? Another one. A note. Oh, if there's anything on the note, it'll tell me in a second if I can read it. No, nothing. Uh right. Garkins, it's another form of vampire. Here's where we put the crystal. So, one last save, we think. Yeah, this fellow's got more than one trick up his sleeve. Would explain it. Moreau's journal. Yes, Jerome. This is the. I know I'm looking for. I'm on the trail of the Griffin Gear at the same time. So, 12th of September, 1121. I've received confirmation Jerome has arrived and is staying at Fort Sar. I'm so giddy with anticipation I cannot continue my work. Yet I must try to calm myself and see through my plan day later, he arrived quite unexpectedly right after dusk. He hasn't changed a great deal, he is thin, wiry and covered in scars. He was of course furious I brought him here under false pretext, but what choice did I have? One day he will be a father himself and he will then understand what drives me. I opened a portal in my study and brought Jerome to my lab. In doing so I exhausted my activation crystal but luckily I have a spare. I gave the lad some time to think things over, for I'd rather do all this with his willing participation. Meanwhile, I shall prepare the apparatus. So the Witcher was taken somewhere via portal. And that would be here. Because that's where we put the crystal. And where we go in, but where? I tell you, where? Is four fingers. I'm gonna i I'm gonna keep following it. If we get the griffin gear first, we get the griffin gear first. Activate the portal, see where it drops me. I hate portals. <laughs> uh. Hello. 
fuck you now. Actually doing quite nice damage considering I don't have elemental eye on. Entry for a few things in here. Grandmaster Griffin armor. Griffin trousers. One last piece. Is it the silver sword I think I miss? Yes. Hmm. Back of the diagram. Jerome made a note. Paralyzing spells worn off, but portals still inactive, meaning I'm still stuck here. Too bad I left most of my stuff back at Fort Osar without my gear. I stand no chance of escaping. Think I'm gonna die in this place. You took my swords, took anything that could be used as a weapon, even gotta write this letter on the back of a diagram. But before I die, I wanna tell you one thing. You're a madman and always have been, a cruel, cold-blooded murderer. I haven't felt anything for you for a long time. Anything but hate, I'm done with you and I hope you pay for your crimes one day. Jerome. Moreau eventually came to terms with his son being a witcher. of Mont Crane Castle. Uh, no thanks. It's a hell of a risk, it doesn't exactly look deep. <laughs> no, it's not, because I'm walking around with it. Something illuminate then. I'm gonna have to drop some swords in a second. I just wanna try and get top side on surface if I can. More knights gauntlets. Diagram two some colour guardsman's boots and a speleologist's diary. That's right. Five fate. My expedition to Amel Mountains was a success, but I cannot wait to visit Tucson. That is a land sculpted by Grotto Gropers. The Gorgon foothills and the slopes of Mount Crane are places where I shall be able to find dozens of exploration sites. The endless caverns carved out of that volcanic rock will assure me material to study for months to come. 17th vein. Incredible, I cannot find a single spot fit for study. The matter should be simple, for Tuff is usually uninhabited, but all of these grottos are either full of monstrosities or have been brought up by copper-pinched wine merchants scheming to fill every cave with their hideous barrels. Blast, I must find a Ciceron, a local guide of some sort who will show me to some completely unoccupied cavern. Then 20th, 
A certain Luc Vunique, whom I encountered in San Sebastian, has enticed me with promises of a fabulous cape. You won't regret it, Master Garek, in which there are no greedy grape hoarders, nor any monsters. Tomorrow we shall set out to the Blessing of Forest, but before embarking, I invited my guide to a supper at the Pheasant Tree, where we'll be spending several days together. After all, I'd like to get to know him better. Luke turned out to be a picky gentleman. The chef de cuisine served us a veal cutlets in garlic sauce, and Gessiness bean soup. Luke, however, asked for pancakes and red wine, making excuses about an inborn distaste for garlic. He also didn't touch the silver cutlery, explaining something about an allergy and making use of his wooden set instead. Despite these oddities, he made for a quite interesting company and we chatted over a bottle, bottles to be precise, of wine until late in the night. Something tells me there will soon be much talk of the Botti Garek, Luc Vunique's duo in the world of speleologists. No, I think he was a vampire. And the bite marks around your neck incline that I might be right. A lot of vampires, maybe. Okay, I'm gonna have to drop something in a second. Let's make sure there's nothing else in here. Jesus Christ! I thought they were above me! I need a minute. Holy shit. That just scared the living wits out of me. Right. Vampire oil. Actually, of course, I'm fighting a vampire. I'll stick black blood on. Dark here as well. Of this fucking thing. The dancing star's gonna do more. <sighs> yeah. You have the wrong taste in friends. Fucking hell. See, it sounded like vampire, it was vampire. It's on the fucking ceiling. Monster then. Yeah, no shit! Came in the wrong fucking entry, I came in the secret way. Jesus Christ. And I need a minute to regain my breath after that. Jesus, that scared the living wits out of me. See, I thought I heard. Oh. Right. Why? Why you do it? relatively all right for a panther. <laughs> Fuck your lover. <laughs> okay. Now then, let's uh, find our way back this way. Do actually have something over here which I may as well check out while I'm here. In a monster den though, since we've cleared that thing out. So the only thing over here, it can't be bandits either because there's no night for hire. There we go. Wrong. Ow! Son of a bitch! No. Ow.
So it was a bandit camp. Yeah, well, I don't know, right, we'll ignore that shit. Pick up the money. Journal written on soul hide. And a hair. That is okay, that's probably the best chest we've come across in a long time. Just looks to overburden me, doesn't it? Philibert sent us to collect supplies from the Bassin farm. I stayed with most of the lads in the camp as always, and sent a few to go strike a deal with the steward. Hubert directs a reasonable chap never gave us trouble about taking supplies before, so it seems we're in for an easy job. Not like hunting flying monsters or lying in wait for caravans coming down the road. Nikolai and Pablo Gaff have not returned. Something stinks and it's not my foot wraps. I'm taking charge and leading a group to see what's going on. If those peasants at Bassin have done something to my men, I'll reduce that farm to mouldering ashes. The farm's been demolished, but no sign of Pablo or Nikolai. We've only found two hay seeds. I'll take them back to camp for questioning. Both howl like madmen and mumble constantly about some werewolf. They'll cool their heels in a cage for a while, maybe get more talkative. And where the bum blazes are my men. Probably killed by a werewolf. I'm overburdened now, so I might as well just accept it. Take everything. I'm going to be in for a few trips back around uh, once I've stopped recording to collect all this stuff. I should easily have over 10k by now. Move all these. Very nice. Yes, yes, yes. And I think. Let's get this blood moss, what's that? Yeah. <sighs> okay, so now we've picked it all up, time to drop it again. Make sure I come back here again. My uh, hangman's venom is no doubt expired by now. It probably expired when I was whirling all of the bandits inside Mont Crane Castle. But where the hell is Four Fingers? Shit. I should maybe should have followed the road, you know, like as I'm supposed to. Why them there? Leave him be for now, let him fly around in the dark. Now, I usually say, well, if it's hand spaces are the same, you're coming closer. I don't want to have to kill you, but I will if you come too close. That's chasing me, isn't it? Shot. I mean, it wasn't pretty much no health, but. Find our way back on the path. Right. And they all came back. Surely not. Surely not. It sounds like they have, you know. This ruin from around this side, it doesn't look like it. Right, this is the main entrance now. Yeah, they are right. I'm gonna have to kill this guy this time. Alright, he ain't calling for more. Oh my god. I think my loot's gone as well. Yeah, as. Unless that's it. Ugh. 
You are so dead. And you miss your shot. Are... How quick did they return? How quick was that? That's actually amazed me. Right, I ain't looting that this time. <laughs> okay, so. Maybe he's at the top. If I follow... Save. Let's see if we come back here shortly. So it's telling me to go in here. Oh, it's gonna make you go and open it. Maybe. So a ladder. It is up. I need to go. There it is. He's gonna be at the top of this tower. Our four fingers friend. How long are you gonna make me wait? Damn it. You're gonna make this very awkward. I can't even block you. Oh. It's not fair. Come down. Or at least in this sort of triangle, I can get some sort of movement. Alright, let's get out of the way. Bet that's him. Maybe now. He's saving it each opportunity in case I run into the chap. Oh, he's going to be up there it's in that tower. Stop picking up stuff. I can't afford to. It's automatic. Oh, hello. Uh, hello. My there he is. How I enjoy Still a bird's four fingers. You're not a complete fan. Whoa, okay, that was quite nice. She dodged that. Dodge that though, could ya? A little bit unfair when I do that. But it's still funny. Come on, come closer. Yeah, your reign of terror is over. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was good. Right, has he got anything up here? Estes. That's your right, put the L. A lot of stuff up here. There it is, that's what I was looking for. 
the book. I say we'll leave all this for now. Two Sand Knight's trousers, two Sand Knight's boots, and a journal bound in warm leather. I am Philibert von Bitten. My crest a rook. My father, the famed Sir Gruber Pale Cheeks von Witten. Today I was smeared by an insult which only blood can wipe clean. Rage burns my entrails. Writing this is the only way I know how to calm the flames. When I am an old man and read these notes, I believe a certain Maximus Nonus Macrinus will be long dead. A pitiful memory. For now, however, he lives. Why do I write about this? A few days ago, I challenged him to a duel to the death. He had been drooling over my Lucien, and I could not bear it. He proved to be a better swordsman than I, but that is not the worst. A lost finger is nothing compared to lost honour. Maximus defeated me, yet instead of killing me, he spared my life. Never shall I forget the faces of the men who turned their eyes from me then. I now know I shall never know peace until I have dealt with him. A dozen or so blank pages. I have found the journal which I was given by my father several years ago. During the time since I last held it, much has occurred in my life. I have fled Tucson and sought my fortune in various places, with varied success. The worst, however, is that my hand has yet to grasp Maximus's throat. I know it is only a matter of time. I've decided to return to that hound botch duchy. We have pitched camp at Mont Crane. I have carefully selected a band of men who will not flee from any task or four. The two sign which once forced me to run will now repay me in full. The highest price, however, shall be paid to Maximus Nonius Macrinus. When I get my hands on him, he will dream of one thing. Death. I've got the harlot's brood. He's loading it up at the Castle Dacia estate. He was given it by that sodden tart Anarietta. Seems Duke Raymond's been dead for a few years. Tomorrow my lads will pay him a visit. I shan't go with them, however. The very thought of having to see his maggoty face again makes me ill. Farewell, Maximus. I have signed your death warrant. I'm delighted. Maximus and his family now rot. Their stench is a delight to stray mutts. Whenever I close my eyes, I see them perish, see them scream, moan, and grovel. That makes my dinger stand firmer than even the curriest harlot could. I am at last satisfied. And at last, long overdue, you are now dead. Lots of stuff to loot up here. Should be absolutely no need for it whatsoever. Has just put me over burden. So, Philibert Fourfingers was stood at the top of Mount Crane, and although he got his revenge, he at last has met his own end. So I think I will end the episode there, so I've got a lot of looting to do after I of course do that little reload so that he reappears again so I can farm this place. You can see by my experience bar it's given me plenty of experience killing all of these bandits since I pretty much did kill them twice. Uh, lost a lot of swords during that unfortunately, it's just it's the way it goes. Uh, but we shall continue in the remains of Mont Crane when the next episode begins. So thank you for watching and I'll see you there. Wolves asleep in midst the tree